I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Chapter out of this book, Flat Earth Activist, which I published back in January. So before I actually did anything, I had a plan. And it's in this book. So I'm going to do a second edition to kind of cover what what has actually been implemented from this book in the last seven months. So this is uh, Flat Earth Fiction, Art, and Culture. Politics is always downstream from culture. You reach more people by exiting the echo chambers and inserting your message into the culture. Always remember, we are in a mind war. The globe is a tool of psychological and socio-political control. It is imposed upon us. It dominates and monopolizes science fiction, fantasy, and all areas of popular culture with its monolithic interpretation of what the world is. Anthropology is screwed up intentionally. Archaeology is similarly skewed. Giants, dragons, blood-sucking reptoids could all be our next-door neighbors. That's why Flat Earthers need to start producing art, poetry, and fiction on the subject. Thoughts always precede action, and we need to create mental blueprints to guide our future progress and wake up out of the globe paradigm. We at the tip of the sphere need to be the vanguard of a cultural revolution with regards to how we represent ourselves as a species, as ensouled beings, and our relationship to power, to government, to authority, and to the globe paradigm itself. We have been taught to love the globe, but now it's time to hate it. We have to destroy it. Iconoclasm is what I'm calling for. We must use art to kill the illusion. Kill it in the minds of the brainwashed masses and declare the globe as dead. So that's what the purpose of the pinata obviously yesterday was, is it's the symbolically destroying their model and gleefully so, candy, <laughs> laughing, making a party out of it. And you know, on that note, yesterday we were at the tricentennial, you know, in, in the side of the planetarium, the dinosaur museum, the fake history museum, and it you know it really struck me, I was walking into this gathering here, and it's like we have people from California, Nevada, Arizona, Colorado, New York, Canada, and Texas all converging on this one little event, this symbolic event, the destruction of the globe paradigm. And uh, it just struck me that you don't have that kind of engagement with any subject, any topic, any hobby, any sport, where a group of people who don't know each other, um, except through the internet, would actually travel across the country on pretty much a, a short notice to do something like that in a park, something so spontaneous. And so it says something about how um, big of a deal this thing actually is. We might be nonchalant about it, like we figured it out a couple years ago or something, but it is still um, really the biggest and most transformative paradigm shock of our lives. And uh, the rest of the world hasn't caught up yet. But the fact that we're all here right now, in fact, to me, really suggests that this thing is in no way um, going away. They're, they can't put the toothpaste back in the tube, you know, it's, it's out, so. Anyway, I want to also thank all the people here in the chat room because this entire event has been funded by super chats, donations, people sending me art supplies. So uh, this is also the work of the entire chat room, which we've maintained. We've maintained as a productive think tank and as a catalyst for action. So we put facts over feelings, action over drama. And we did so because of this, the feared wrench. The people who don't get it aren't here right now. And there's a reason for that. So anyway, thanks um, everyone here for uh, showing up today. and. Uh, I have something else here to read. It's written by uh, Isa. Isa Shell. Yeah, this is um, Declaration of the Flat Earth Republic. And this was actually written specifically for this. Uh, he and I spoke about this before. Um, he, he ran this by me because what we're really getting at here is that we are rejecting a religious paradigm that was sold to us as reality. We were sold helio heliocentrism as science when it in fact is nothing more than sun worship. It's a cult. That's what it is. It's an esoteric religion. And uh, since we don't believe in this religion anymore, we shouldn't be forced to tithe. And I remember thinking about how when the Affordable Health Care Act first came out, Amish were able to opt out of it. So it's like, what can we opt out of? What do we have to pay for since we no longer acknowledge that we're spinning on a ball hurtling through space at 66,600 miles per hour, but we are in fact on a stationary plane. So uh, here it goes. 
when in the course of human events, as it becomes necessary for one people to grow a figurative pair of balls and dissolve the political, scientific, philosophic, and other disingenuous blood-sucking of empirical connections to a dogmatic swath of society and stomp out the embers of any bands which have unfavorably connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth, including one's own God-given opinion about the shape of the earth, for Christ's sake, recognizing the separate and equal stations to which the contentious laws of nature and nature's God entitle them, maintaining a decent respect for the opinions of mankind, and understanding that some people are too far deluded to get the hint it requires that they should declare the causes which impel them into separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal on a flat stationary plane of existence, and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and the right to recognize that there has been a covert action to separate the intelligent from the sheep, and that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their powers from the consent of the governed, not enslaving them with titles of nobility, gravity, heliocentrism, dogmatic bureaucracy. And when it becomes destructive of these ends, including, but not limited to, any manufactured welfare system built to destroy the family unit, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute a new government and a new cosmology with philosophical openness, laying the foundations on such principles and organizing its powers in such form, say, as to them, shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness, prudence, indeed, will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light or transient causes. And accordingly, all experience has shown that mankind are more disposed to accept the lies about fake space programs and suffer faux freedom than to right themselves recognizing their true inherent worth and establishing a love of mankind through art and technology by abolishing the forms to which they foolishly become accustomed like watching hours of the Big Bang Theory and Kim Kardashian. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations like mental, physical, and financial slavery pursuing invariably the same object evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right and duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for the future and say, fuck the world and the brainless zombies that jack my shit. <laughs> And the sovereign people coping with a society that can barely read, much less think freely, without the consent of their masters, those that would be satisfied with every answer from their soulless indoctrination are worthy cattle and have no place in this declaration. The history of the great present king of Britain and his United States and its pharmaceutically lobotomized subjects is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations due to a lack of understanding. This has changed as the information is now readily available due to the electronic printing press, the internet. It has become clear that our forefathers have waged the intelligence passed down and we of this proud nation seek to fulfill our father's wishes and show that amongst us are the children of man and we are the willing purveyors for understanding and wish a private peace. When the day arrives to truck the cattle that are yours to FEMA concentration camps, because humans are generally violent and suck, we must be assured that you have been given notice that we the people, the flattered republic, are physically, but not intellectually, amongst these masses. And our distinction shall be evident when we reveal our status as the super secret priority interest holders appearing specifically to accept any charging instrument for set off. We in turn insist that there are no atheists on the new flat world order, and we are learning to care for our earth and live in peace when the heavens decree. So we as a nation understand as the children of Adam, our inheritance was loaned for the benefit of all. We reserve those rights to discharge any encumbrances ever incurred or incurred by our members of the Flat Earth Republic, pursuant to the private and historical ethic in the written and unwritten historical law codified in the private commercial code. From henceforth till forever, with our progeny without recourse, we of the Flat Earth Republic give notice that we are willing to help our debtors and within our rights settle any contract by endorsement upon presentation of any charging instrument for discharge. Now if there is any instrument, respond in 30 days under notary seal penalty of perjury with a point by point rebuttal showing any defect in this instrument or let the record show that the Flat Earth Republic shall be evident 
to discharge any encumbrance henceforth. Let the record show that failure to respond to this notice shall show agreement that any photocopy, email, or presentment of this instrument shall be considered worth whatever face value of any charging instrument is allegedly owed by a member of the Flat Earth Republic, and you shall know us by our commercial dealings, as we will appear surprisingly with honor, integrity, and the respect endowed by the children of Adam. So in the name of the creator of the stationary plane, created by man, I'm sorry, for, our, for man, by our creator, let us rejoice together and respect each other as we abide in peace, prosperity, and may we meet for, move forward in the way of truth, life, love, and a sense of humor. Flat Earth, forever, rock and rule, yo. Isa Mahakalski. <laughs> That would be Flatter of Court. Flatter of Court is the YouTube page. All right. Anyone else? Flatter of Court.